You know, ever since I found out that I don't really come from this planet, I've I've had this pull towards the stars. It, it seems so cliche to say, but more often than not, I'll find myself just looking up at the sky, watching the blink in and out of existence. I'm pretty sure stars shouldn't do that. And I'm pretty sure I should know what's causing that. But I don't. It really is a shame that... That the good doctor, you know, Phil, his... He only had one... Memory potion left. Memory restoring potion, I guess you could call it. It's like... It's right there. Like fingertips on the edge of my mind, calling to me, trying to get me to understand what's happening, what I'm doing here, why I'm here, but I can't understand it. Which is why I want to get in, which is why I want to start in this new series. It's, it's, it's why I want to start Starsick, I guess, if, if that's the name I'm going with. I want to feel closer to the stars while I'm trapped here on Anadonia. I don't even know how I know the name of the planet, to be honest. I, I don't even remember crashing here. I guess it's just some latent memory leaking through. Ruby isn't here. I'm not really sure where he is, to be honest. Um, He does this sometimes. He'll disappear in the night and then show up the next morning, but I don't know, It's it's been a while, I guess. He hasn't shown up. So, I guess I'm doing this on my own, although I don't appear to have anything. Um, yeah, my inventory's kind of empty. I'm, uh, I'm not sure why. I, I didn't store it in a chest. It's I genuinely don't know where my shit's gone, um, but I do know I left, I left my Klein Star in here, but I don't remember where I left my Destruction Catalyst, or my gun, actually. I think they might still be in the storage shed or somewhere, I must have put them down and then forgot where. Ah, it doesn't matter. New series, I'll start fresh. I just need two diamonds for a sword and... Not four for a pickaxe, I'm not sure why I'd need four. Um, yeah, let's just take three diamonds for the pickaxe and two diamonds for the sword. I don't need to worry about taking up resources, it's not like Ruby or Mind. You know, it's, we've, we've got a condenser now, so... It's not like... It's not like we can run out, as long as we have one of something left. Oh, I thought that was my gun then. No, it's it's an empty one. Okay, um, let's grab some mineral berries, because these are good for food. Uh, we don't need the graves dust. What, what else can we scavenge? I need some wood. I have a stick, pickaxe, some wheat, seeds, some warped planks, blaze rods. Let's take a block of iron, you never know when that might come in handy. Uh, do we not have any wood lying around? And oh, we've got fur logs, that's nice. Here we are. I knew we'd picked up some of these papers on our adventures. You memorize a drawing of Vicio. You add a tab to the astral tome to keep track of it. You memorize a drawing of Avita. Avitas. Those names sound so familiar and yet so foreign to me. I. I I'm still having trouble grasping them. But I can turn these fur logs into planks, and I can turn these planks into sticks. That much I know. See, I, I haven't forgotten everything. I'm not entirely enfeebled. Yeah, let's make us let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. There we go. And then let's make a diamond sword. So that we uh so that we can fight back at least against whatever's outside. Hopefully there are no creepers about, because that would be disastrous. I, I wouldn't want to have to deal with that before I go off adventuring. Um, I never really p 
picked a direction where I was going to go for this. I, I, I never even realized I was going to be adventuring until I decided to craft the gear and leave the shit shack behind. This is kind of scary. You know what? No. Let's 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 be smart about this. I know we have a few spare waystones in our basement. Just in case this is a bad idea, let's let's quickly hop down into the the yif hole, the yif cave, and let's grab one of these spare waystones. That way, if we find a place that we want to settle down, if we find a place that's attuned to the magic of the sky, we can just plop down our waystone and we can come back whenever we need to. Magic of the sky. That, that sounds... That sounds funny, coming from me. I may not know much, but I know for a fact that I don't really believe in magic. Then again, since crash landing here, I've, I've definitely had my views on magic, uh, shall we say, shunted uh, into rather unknown territories. I still believe that magic is just science that we haven't understood yet, or at least the people wielding it haven't understood, but I don't know. There's something whims whimsical about calling it magic. There's something whimsical about, you know, just letting yourself believe for a while, I guess. I suppose that's what I'll have to do when I start exploring the, the magic of the skies, as I've decided just now that I'm going to keep calling it. Hello, Wolf. It's nice to meet you. I remember this ravine. Me and Ruby recently passed here. I've got to be careful. I don't want to fall in. Here we go. Let's, let's hop across here. I don't remember what's in this direction, though. I just remember that there was a massive ravine. What are you? Aquamarine Shale. You're from the Astral Sorcery mod. Let's have a look at you. What are you? Aquamarine. Oh, we had some of this back at the base. I should have taken it with me. I should have really scoured harder to find astral stuff, but I kind of just wanted to get out already, just sort of stretch my legs. It, it, it gets kind of cramped in the shack sometimes. I mean, personally, I love it. It's very cozy. Less so with all of the uh, crap filling it, but you know, it's, it's home. At least as home as it can be. Now, this is an astral sorcery structure, I believe. You see these dotted about on planets sometimes. Usually, mainly within um, the the mid regions of the known universe, but that doesn't really give me any stronger of an idea of where we actually are, where where Anadonia is. Um, I guess I can check for chests because if I remember one thing, it's that usually the people that build these hide valuables underneath the pillars. Here we go. Constellation paper. You uh, memorize a drawing of, of Oriso. And more constellation paper. You memorize a drawing of Armara. And then there's a golden ingot, which is quite nice. Uh, I don't want to disrespect the, the, like, building, but, um... I also kind of want to take it apart to use as building material. It appears there's only one chest. Usually there's more. Oh, huh. guess I was wrong. Never mind. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a more of a look around before we decide to settle down there. I know, I know, we've been to this village, or at least it feels we have. And I can tell that we've been here definitely from the fact that, well, there are rune stones missing. There's probably some wider lasting effect that we're having on the ecosystem by completely just getting rid of the natives' way of traveling, but. If there is, it hasn't affected me enough to care. That sounds very callous, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that, it's just, you know, it's technically the truth. Until it affects me in any noticeable way. You guys are kinda... not important to me, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I'll help you at some point, when I've figured out, you know, how to get off the planet, how to get my memory back and all that stuff. I'll come back and I'll help you then, but... Until then, deal with it. Um, oh. Oh. Now that is interesting. I've definitely seen these before. 
But these are dangerous. I'm surprised there are just so many dotted about in the, on the surface. Broken down Gehenna Gate. I don't know. Call me sheltered, but whenever you see one of these, it's never usually good. Oh. A golden hoe with fortune. Huh. Ruby. <laughs> Blaze gold nugget, some flint, uh, some more gold nuggets, and a clock. This could actually be very useful. I think, yeah. I'm kind of glad this thing's, um, broken. An untempered gate to Gehenna can only spell trouble for everyone involved. And everyone not involved, really. Where am I going? Okay, I have some inkling of where I'm going. I think. Oh, hello, donkey. <laughs> hello there. My name's Shrek. That was the worst impression I've ever done. I'm tempted to just remove that <laughs> from the playback. <laughs> uh, oh, this is nice. Well, not nice to live in, but it's nice to look at. What, what type of wood is this? This is cypress. Oh, it's cypress. Interesting. I haven't seen cypress in a long time. Uh, oh, oh, I hate this stuff. Water silk. The layman's cobweb. Better off avoiding it if you can, it's nothing but trouble. Especially in water. Not just anywhere, really, it's just a nuisance. What did I pick up? I know I've got an egg. But what's this? Industrial hemp- oh! Weed! You know, that might help me, um... Calm down, you know, whenever I, I panic about the fact that I'm stranded on an alien world with no memory of who I am. That, that could definitely be useful. Um, but back to the matter at hand, we're still looking for some astral, uh, structures. Or at the very least, a place with an astral structure that looks nice enough to build on. Uh, can I get- I need to get out of this water, it's doing me no good. Oh, why do I have a cypress sapling? You know what, fair enough. If these things can grow from one sapling, then I might as well take it with me. Definitely a good supply of wood. Oh my god, look at all of this moss. It's easier to just swim underneath. Oh, it looks like I'm approaching a swamp or a plains or... Oh, it's a meadow. How quaint. This place is actually quite nice. And there's an RGB. Hello there, Bumblebee. Nice to see you. I like this meadow. This is a nice meadow. I want to see if there are any uh, astral structures around here. Well, you're not an astral structure. What the fuck are you? Elemental craft. Huh. This screams dangerous. Sorry, scroll of fireball. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, some more inert crystals, some drenched iron nuggets, and some rotten flesh, but beyond that, what are you? Nothing. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're an enderman. Oh, shit, I looked at you, didn't I? Oh, god damn it. No, I can't die here. No, 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 no. And I can't teleport back to my grave. It is a good job I placed down that fucking waster. Let's just, uh, let's teleport to S real quick. I didn't think I even looked him in the eyes. What a prick. Alright, let's just, let's just take this waste on back. What a grouchy old prick. I should have used my new fireball technique. I should have used my new fireball jutsu. How does this even work? Oh. Oh, well, someone could have told me it was one-time use. I just wasted a perfectly good fireball. Well, at least I didn't waste it on an enderman. I know those things teleport out of the way of projectiles. Although I do not want to cause a forest fire, so let me just douse that. Ooh, a bell pepper. Ow. What? What? Oh, fuck off. 
Go away. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, bitch? I probably should have invested in armor, now that I think about it, before I uh, ventured off into the great unknown. Um, I'm going to go kill this sheep. Because I want a bed. Or at very least, a sleeping bag. Because I, like a dum-dum, did not bring one with me. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't an astral uh, structure in that uh, meadow. So now we're moving into a swamp. With a slime chunk nearby. How oh, interesting. Is that a village? Please be a village. No, nope, it's just a forest. Never mind. Uh, oh. That's even worse. I'm just gonna go around. Oh, that's even worse. That thing has aimbot. I'm just gonna run for my life. Okay. Hey, spider bee. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a quick detour. Uh, take a, take the next right, uh, before you enter hell.